Hey guys, 39 Camper, and it is July 3rd, and my garden is booming. I'm already harvesting stuff out of it. Went up to the Manistee River for five days, and when I came back, I mean, the size of it had doubled. I mean, it is just doing awesome. So let's take a look at some of the stuff I got. Well, here's a gallon and a half of pickles that I just processed today. Setting these out here for three days, making the sun pickles. I put two gallons and two quarts in the refrigerator already. So three, almost four gallons of uh, pickles that I've got going on right now. Hot peppers are doing awesome. Starting to get some uh, peppers and flowers on everything here in the old hot pepper station uh, can't wait to start getting some of these uh, habaneros but I have harvested some uh, cayenne peppers out of here my apple tree is doing awesome this year last year we got a really bad frost and and there was barely any apples and this year I mean these this tree these two trees right here are just loaded with apples so let's go over here to the garden and get to the good stuff. Um, my cucumbers came on, boom, I'm, I'm getting them every few days. I'm getting a lot of cucumbers, uh, pickling cucumbers and everything. So uh, I got some tomatoes already, zucchini, and uh, everything is just doing awesome. So get in here. I'll turn turn you around. We'll start back down at the beans. <clears throat> so my beans are doing okay. Um, kind of spotty. First couple rows. I'd much rather look like this third row, but I had to replant a bunch of stuff in here, and uh, I think I just need to to rotate these beans. I should. I probably should have rotated them. Uh, plant them somewhere different in the garden, but they seem to be doing all right. I'm fertilizing them good, and uh, they're getting along pretty good. My bell peppers, bell peppers got flowers on them. Um, as you can see, down there is a big old bell pepper sitting on the ground, and uh, I got pretty much, pretty much got a, a, a bell peppers on every one of these guys. These are nice and bushy, and this one just, he kind of just like jumped up there. But uh, bell peppers are going to, I'm going to rock some bell peppers out of here. More bell peppers over here. I got a big old weed in that one I got to take care of. And uh, the tomatoes, man. I don't know if you seen my last video. My last update video. But uh, the garden was nothing like this. I mean, it is just... Boom! Boom! Got tomatoes going. Little green ones on everything. Looking good. Looking good. Look at there. Tomatoes. Zucchinis. You see that bad boy down there? Got them all down through here. Oh, there's a harvester right there. Look at that. I'm gonna have zucchini tonight on the grill. I'll cut that zucchini in half, put some olive oil and some seasonings and throw it on the grill. Ooh yeah, I got another harvester over there. Yep, I think that's what we're doing tonight. Zucchini on the grill. Yep, these guys are doing good. <clears throat> Gotta get them fertilized a little bit. Cucumbers. They're rocking out. Um, I picked all the picked all the big ones, and uh, there's one. I, there's one down there I could have picked, but I don't let some of them grow a little bit bigger. Use them as cucumbers, and uh, that's my melon. I gotta get that weed out of there. It's uh, cantaloupe, I believe. Jalapenos. 
Now these garden jalapenos are doing a lot better than the potted ones. Well, about the same, but these are bigger, more hardier. And I got jalapenos on these bad boys and flowering and uh, doing all sorts of stuff. Um, yeah, these jalapenos are doing pretty good. My winter squash, uh, spaghetti squash, all of its flower in here. And I thought I saw one that was done flowering and starting. But, uh, yeah, let's see, there's one way down there starting. So, these guys are doing pretty good. Look at there. Yep. Oh, baby. Spaghetti squash. Um, I think these are pumpkins. No. Over there is volunteer zucchinis. And I know that's a pumpkin. So, we'll see how it goes. Corn. Corn is just just going along nice of course my sp spot planted ones are, are uh, going a little slower but uh, this other corn is uh, about waist high at least right here in the highest areas at least waist high so knock on wood everything is going all right um, put a lot of time and care into it, a lot of weeding, and um, it was like I was, uh, last video I talked about Lee Ralph and he was wondering about the weeding and everything, and uh, you know, I showed my, my scupper, or scuffer hole right there, and uh, I went down the other day when it was wet, and uh, did a little bit, but as you can see, this garden is just going to start filling in more and more and there's not going to be much rows to really weed. I mean, maybe in between here and, and uh, you know between the tomatoes and the beans but once these beans fill in then there's no, I mean it's just going to be one big canopy. So. What the? Roxanne! Hey! Fucking nuts. Anyways, back to the video. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So, weeding less and less, you know, getting out there, just pulling the big ones and everything, so. Let's take a look, walk along the woods over here and uh, see if there's any um, raspberries coming up. I know, I know, I need to mow my lawn. Uh, that part over by the garden I let grow a little bit higher anyways and just cut it high. But um, I got these, the grass really isn't that tall. It's these damn yellow tall ass flowers so I gotta get to that. I got three days off, so I'll get to that and um, get the yard looking pretty. Okay, over here by the berries, let's check this out. Alrighty. Let's see here. Yep. You can see, starting to get some berries down in there. Um, yeah, here's some that are ripening up, and then, uh, over along that edge, there's a bunch more. Over here, I got my, um, salt for the deer, I like to watch the deer, <clears throat> and surprisingly, they will come in the yard with the dogs here, even though the dogs are barking. Um, but they'll just they'll, they'll cut through the corner here and uh, get them a little lick and then head into the woods and at least we get to, to see them. And I 
I got old Budro here. He's not as high strung as uh as Rock. What the hell did you get into? Oh. Oh. What is that? Oh. Oh, it's something dead. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna have to give him a bath. <clears throat> He's over here fucking around. Ugh. I got it on my fingers now. He was over here. Man, that really sucks. I didn't want to have to freaking give him a bath. Oh, guys, I don't know. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching, and um, I'll catch you on the next uh, garden update video. I gotta go, I gotta go wash him off. He's all drooling now. So, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you guys' garden's doing well. Oh, she smells.